Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is the part 2 of the series. Make sure to go through part 1 if you haven't watched it. Select the high poly mesh, go to the modifier, add modifier, subdivision service, or hit Ctrl 2, apply the modifier, go to the modifier again, multi resolution. To add the details on the surface, we need the high poly mesh. That's why I go ahead and click on subdivide couple of times to add more geometry. Stay with 3 or 4, that's enough. We have to go to the sculpting section and now we are ready to go. As you see on the left side are the brushes, it's easy to remember. Select this one as an example and right now we can add more details on the surface. Ctrl Z to undo that. And of course you have to play with those brushes to make your own experience with them. Now we need to add a texture, click on this icon, go to fall, click here and choose custom. To custom your brush you can add more vertices or move them just like that. Click on the surface, here we go. From here you can change the strength and the radius or mouse right click and change both of them. The hat keys for that, F and Shift F. The more I change those vertices, the more I change the brush. Turn off the geometry on the X axis. We need to change the geometry to the Z axis. Change the number to 10, mouse left click, here we go. Also you can change the numbers and the axes as you want. In this case we need to stay with the Z axis only. Go to the clay brush, F to increase or decrease your radius. And draw on the surface. I like to make a straight line. Go to stroke, stroke math, line. By click and drag I can add straight lines. The pinch brush allow you to make sharp edges. With the draw sharp brush I can add nice details just like that to the surface. Select the pinch brush again and go over on it. The scrape brush it's very important to stylize your skull. I like to use this brush a lot. Finally, when you are happy with your sculpt, back to the modeling section, click on this arrow and apply cavity. Go to the outliner, low poly and click on the little eye. And now we have the low poly mesh and the high poly mesh. By click on drag on this corner we can split a new window. Click here and choose the shader editor. We need to add a new material for the low poly mesh. And click on new. Go to add, texture, image texture. New again and rename your texture, normal an example. I like to change the width and the height to 20, 48. Then click on OK, change the color space to non-color. Click here again and go to image editor. Click here and select the normal text. Go to the render properties, render engine to cycle and choose the graphic card if you have. Click on Bake, Bake Type to Normal.
and check selected to active and change this value to 0.01. Select the high poly mesh, hold control, select the low poly mesh. The low poly mesh should be the active selection and click on bake. It looks fine for me. To see the effect we have to go to the viewboard shading. Select the low poly character GX. Split a new window, go to the shader editor To see the normal map in the viewport you have to connect the texture to the material Right now shift A vector normal map Now we have to connect the color to the color and the normal to the normal Click on this point and choose UV And bam, as you see it looks great from this point we don't need the high poly mesh, just delete it. To bring the object back to the center, Shift S, Selection to Cursor, Ctrl S to save your project. 